What's up? Welcome to Just Blazer Program. I have a very quick one for you, specifically for the problem I'm having, or I was having, with the Android emulator in Maui. So if you saw the last video that I had there, I was having an issue getting Maui to work, and it took a long time for me to give up. But today I went back to it, and I finally got it working. So, oh, oops. So uh, one of the few things that I went uh, to find this is obviously I went to Stack Overflow, and in Stack Overflow... There are a million different things that you can do for this. So all of this, I went through a bunch of these to try to figure out what my issue was. So the first thing I went to was actually uh, to try to update my emulators and stuff like that. So if you have not done that or if you think you still need to do that, you could always check. I use the Android Studio, so I'm just going to go through the process of what I use to fix this. Hopefully this fixes someone else's issues out there. Because I think the very first thing you got to do is make sure that your emulators are all up to date. So if you don't have this, make sure you have the Android Studio. Because in Android Studio, you can go to Tools, go to Android here, and then go to the SDK Manager. So however you get to here, doesn't really matter. I use the Studio. You can use whatever you want. So then we go to the SDK Tools. And you see everything I have checkmarked. Uh, everything here. It's all installed, right? But before I uh, had the emulator working, they were all out of date. So if this is you, if you have these like out of date or it says it needs it to update or whatever, then go do that. Uh, these are the five that are important. And then if you have an AMD processor, download this one too. And then hopefully that, that gets you one step closer to helping you. But I also, after that, uh, deleted the original project I was working on and made a new one. And then I did something very strange. I'm just going to get rid of this. We don't need this anymore. That's all you really need to do for the studio. So as you can see, this is working now. But I'm just going to get rid of it real quick. Close the window. And there we go. So up here, what happens usually is when you try to run an Android emulator and you don't have one, it's going to ask you to create one, right? So if we get to the Android uh, SDK manager. When it opens up. Android device manager, my bad. Oh, here we go. So um, you see I have two Pixel 5s. Don't worry about that. Uh, what I care about is the fact that you probably will need to download one of these later on. But if you're still having issues trying to run this with um, even after doing the update, what I want you to do is grab whatever Pixel 5 you have here, which is the default one that they make you create, and then you start running it. Just start running it without running the actual program in the background. If you can get this far, then that means your emulator is actually working. So the issue is, it's going to be some weird issue. If you go into the logs, you're going to see like a bunch of stuff here. It's going to say something about QEMU. Now, I don't know what this is specifically, but I think I found a way around this problem. And if you don't know how to get to those logs, um, you can go right click one of these and go to where it says uh, start with kernel logs and it'll take you to the um, uh, take you to the file directory for it. So as you can see, my emulator is working without it running right now. And then that's what you need to do. If this works like this, then you're good to go basically. And all you have to do to make your Maui program run on this is just run it. So now what the issue was for me is that it wasn't able to find it. Like it says here, it cannot be started, but that's fine because I already have it started. So now it's just, ha now I'm just have to wait for this to recognize that this is on essentially. So if you have this problem, this is a workaround for you. So you can continue your Maui development. Yeah, it's a bit annoying that you have to do this, but, um, but yeah, that is a way around it. Um, so I'm going to just wait here. I'm going to skip till when this finally um, shows up again, like you saw before, to know that I'm not, you know, bullshitting you. All right. So it finally did it. Now, I found a little issue with this, but I'm going to explain to you um, how to fix it if you ever encounter it. So as you can see, I, you run your emulator first. If it's running, then that means your emulator does work. And then this has to catch up with that once you run the actual program behind it. However, if you're still having problems, I have, I believe the issue is actually the name. So what I did in the first uh, example is actually you could do it either way. So I went into the actual um, 
I went into the actual files within here and I started changing the name. So whatever name it designated itself as in these files, I changed them, but you don't have to go through all that craziness. You could just change it from here. So I'm going to stop the emulator. Uh, I just tried this now. Like this is actually the, this one here. Pixel five is the exact one that we, you just saw work. So what I did in order to fix the issue I was having was you see the name has like yours is going to have something like dash Android and then like the, the number like 31 for the um, for the software update or something for the, for the patch. Just get rid of everything. You don't want to have any spaces or or um, hyphens or stuff like that. Just make it as plain as possible. And that should get rid of the problem that I see sometimes is that the name, it doesn't find what it's looking for because it cannot handle like the hyphens or whatever. I don't understand what's going on there, but I found that the way around it was to actually change the name of your program, um, of your emulator, either from here, from the edit menu, which is much, much easier than doing it from directly into the uh, files that uh, I was looking at before. So those are the ways around that problem. So I really do hope that this helps somebody out there. Just remember, update your emulators, then see if uh, download the emulator that you need if you don't have one, then run it to see if it works. If it works, then you don't have to do any of this. If it doesn't, then go through the steps of running the emulator by itself and then running this. And if that doesn't work, stop the emulator, change the name of this to something that doesn't have any hyphens or special characters, and then run it again. That, that's what helped me out. So just saying. I uh, hope this helps somebody else out there uh, with this issue. Maui is such a... I haven't tried Maui yet because I've been dealing with this, but we'll get into it soon. So we expect some Maui count content coming out. Peace out.